Today is Thursday, September 26th, and as we know it, all eyes are on Hurricane Helene. Helene is currently a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 110 miles an hour, but to put it into perspective, to be considered a Category 3 hurricane, winds need to be 111 miles an hour. Right now, the system is moving north-northeast at about 16 miles an hour, but a significant increase in forward speed is expected over the next 24 hours. With an increase in forward speed, it also will continue strengthening. Helene is expected to be a major hurricane when it reaches the Florida Big Bend coast this evening. And even though there will be weakening after landfall, the fast forward speed will allow for strong damaging winds, especially in the way of gusts, to infiltrate well inland. Helene has an expansive wind field with hurricane force winds extending up to 60 miles out from the center and tropical storm force winds extending up to 340. 45 miles out from the center. Tropical storm and hurricane warnings exist for much of the state of Florida. A tornado threat also exists for these portions of the state too. So there are tornado watches in effect and there have already been numerous tornado warnings issued today. Escambia County is not included in this watch. Life threatening inundation of storm surge is expected with as much as 20 feet in the Big Bend region. Closer to home, storm surge of one to three feet is possible around the Walton Bay County line. A storm surge warning exists from Mexico Beach down to the Keys. So again, this is not something that includes Escambia County. Overall, we want to reiterate there are no watches or warnings in effect for Escambia County. So what can we expect here? Looking at our severe weather outlook, you can see that the Storm Prediction Center does not have an outlined risk in place for Escambia County. However, the light shaded green color seen here indicates that we could see general thunderstorms through today. A wind advisory went into effect at noon and will remain in effect until midnight. This encompasses the entirety of the county where we could see sustained winds 15 to 25 miles an hour and gust up to 40 miles an hour. As for coastal impacts, since minor coastal flood is expected around the time of high tide through Friday, we do have a coastal flood advisory in effect through Friday morning. Life-threatening rip currents are also expected through Friday, along with high surf building 6 to 11 feet and significant beach erosion is also a possibility. Now, I will turn things over to Escambia County Emergency Manager Travis Tompkins with more. We know that severe weather anxiety exists, so we want to try to ease your worries by answering questions we've seen arise. You may be asking, why are we not under a tropical storm warning? A tropical storm warning is issued when sustained winds of 39 miles per hour or higher associated with a tropical cyclone are expected in 36 hours or less. As Scotland mentioned, we expect gusts up to 40 miles per hour, but not sustained winds. This leads us into the question of the closures of bridges. Bridges are closed when winds are expected to be sustained at 39 miles per hour or higher. Because this is not expected, bridges will remain open. Governor Ron DeSantis has included Escambia County in the executive order, placing us under a state of emergency. This is done at an abundance of caution. In the case that Escambia County would need financial reimbursement assistance. At this time, Escambia County Emergency Management is preparing to deploy to Liberty County Friday morning after landfall to assist our sister counties and the state of Florida providing any assistance they may need. Please keep in mind that weather information is time sensitive. As new data comes in, changes will be issued with new advisories from the National Hurricane Center. To stay up to date, follow Escambia County Emergency Management on Facebook. Thanks for spending a minute with EM.